Today we're gonna make some sake. This is my mom's recipe, so let's get to it. We have over here a can of coconut milk. We got some sweet soya sauce, a lot of soya sauce. Toasted sesame oil. Give it a quick mix. Add some pepper, some turmeric, we're being generous. Some coriander, we got some chili powder. Mix it all up, an onion into the sauce. Got two cloves of garlic, put the garlic into the sauce. Mix it all up. Now's the time to do a taste test because once the meat goes in, there ain't no taste testing because you don't want to get food poisoning. Perfect. So right here we have about five pounds of pork tenderloin. I'm just gonna clean it up a little bit, chop it up into little pieces. So for this recipe, you don't have to use pork. You could use chicken breast or chicken thigh and put it into the marinade. Now, all you gotta do is mix it up. Make sure you cover the meat with the sauce. We need to cover this, put it in the fridge. We'll leave it there overnight. All right, it's been about 24 hours. All that flavor has been infused into the meat. Time to put these pieces of meat on a skewer. Unfortunately, it's been raining the past few days and it's raining right now. So I can't cook my satay on the barbecue, but we're gonna cook it on the stove top. Here we are. So now we're gonna make a simple peanut butter sauce. A little bit of sesame oil. We'll add some garlic some brown sugar, soya sauce, more soya sauce. When it comes to peanut butter, you can use any type of peanut butter. We got one kind, we have this kind, and we got this one. You can use any type of peanut butter you want. And when you know what's gonna make this taste even better? Dipping my satay in the peanut butter sauce reminds me of my childhood. I hope you found this recipe simple to make. Please subscribe to this channel if you haven't already and make sure to check out these other great videos.